Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, one of the most fun little beach towns in the entire Northeast. The boardwalk there, the water, just everything about it, it just screams fun. So Rehoboth Beach is situated about four hour drive from New York, much less from Philly, probably like an hour and a half drive. And if you are a beach fan, a boardwalk fan, check out this town because the boardwalk, so many different shops. You got restaurants, Grotto Pizza. You will see a million advertisements for Grotto Pizza and there are so many different locations there, but that's besides the point. So many restaurants, so many different shops. You will have hotels ranging anywhere from very low rates to much more on the luxury side. By luxury, I'm not talking about big brand names. Like if you have like a Kimpton or like, you know, hotels you would find in the Miami Beach area, but you will still have like top tier hotels if you want it. And then an amusement park. Oh my God, Funland. I have such amazing memories there because I have been to Rehoboth Beach multiple times and that was for baseball tournaments actually. So me and my teammates going to Funland, just being able to be by the beach and being at an amusement park, going on different rides. Oh my God, it was so fun. I literally have the best memories from there. You know what, why don't I just, I'm just gonna go through so many different memories that I have from there. And it was just at night, literally like 10 p.m. walking along the boardwalk, grabbing a slice from Grotto, grabbing some fries, checking out the shops. And you think, oh my God, it's pitch black out. So, you know, time to just stay in our accommodation and just relax there for the night. No, so much activity is happening on the boardwalk that it is just terrific to see, especially because Funland's open until very late. So also with that is the beach itself. It is a very nice beach. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite because it has so many people. It's so crowded, but nice waves and you can go bodyboarding, not big enough for surfing, but still ultimately fun. So in addition to that is uh, with Rehoboth Beach is that there are so many little shops, not just on the boardwalk, but actually like, you know, extending out. It's almost like it's a little town that you have this great gazebo at the entrance where people sit down. It's like almost a little park. People are playing games. There is oftentimes live music. So yeah, it's not just one little strip. And the, the hotels and motels, they extend deep. You will see there are so many different options for you there. And now story time. So when I was traveling there, again, for my baseball tournament, so many different memories just playing in the hotels, the playing MLB the show, doing home run derbies. There was one time where we stayed out past our 10 p.m. curfew because we were at Funland. And oh my God, we were walking back as a team. Uh, we were much younger at the time. How old was I? Probably about 14 years old. And one of my teammates is like, as we're walking, is like, oh my God, we're out past our curfew. My parents are gonna kill me. And I swear, literally two seconds later, his parents turned the corner, just happened to be at the same corner at the same time because they were at a restaurant and they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna kill you. How dare you stay out past our curfew? And he takes off and just sprints into literally random parts of the town. And it was the funniest thing because his parents were chasing him down and it was like a wild goose chase in the at the beach at like 10 after 10 at night 10 30 it was probably like 11 o'clock by that point but also another memory is literally multiple of my teammates went and bought hermit crabs all night because they sell hermit crabs literally it feels like every single corner there yeah just memories like that oh my god i love it <laughs>